Hello, hello, and welcome back to Gene Forge. Picking up where we left off in Kaz, maybe. And now I'm in combat. Oh, that's a good start. I uh, have no worries. Uh, yeah, I think I'm in Kaz. I couldn't remember there. Uh, but anyway, as I said last time, today we're going to be heading to the Refugee Cave, which I do not know how long this will take, but considering it's a kill outside a Rebels quest, I assume it'll be pretty combat oriented, so could be short, could take a while, hard to say. Um, hopefully we can get back to here sooner than later and wrap up a few other things, but today we'll just focus on this, and if this is uh, shorter, then we might like go to my notes and try and check back on a couple things or something. Um, but yeah, not uh, not much planned for the day, just probably going to be another pretty chill one, I imagine. Uh, depending on how this goes at least. Um, hopefully it'll be another good test for the crew, which uh, I'm going to have to figure out a name for the Iron Claw Bug. Iron Claw Bug is not much of a name, so... That'll be something to think of, and yeah, I think we're pretty much good to go. Um, oh, right, we do need to make one stop at Eastern Kazk. Uh, thank you, Olegovich, once again. Um, I would say that you have good eyes for this, but in this case, this was more just a me fail and you noticing. Uh, yeah, down here. I, I never went in this one. I, I just went to these and then just, yep, straight, straight away. Goodbye. So, yeah, we're going to quickly go and do that before I forget. So, yes, as always, I do thank you very much. Just, uh... Can't give you a uh, good eyes credit on this one. That was just a, a big, big fail in my part, I think. <laughs> uh, I mean, seriously, like how, I don't know how I managed that. I think it must've been like, I went down here and like, I just went like that. Like it, this didn't even enter my screen. So it just sort of exited my mind So, But yes, no idea what's in here. It could be nothing, but it's always worth checking. Ah, I will take some beakers, why not? I'm sure I have no good reason to, but it's fine. Let me guess one. Oh no, we have eight now, don't we? Yeah, so I guess uh, we'll be able to save some. Very good. Oh yeah, there's a couple of rooms here actually. Interesting. Uh, some pods, take those. Oops. And what have we got? Uh, oh, all right, uh, sure. Canister? Oh, it is a canister. Very nice. Ah, good thing. Definitely good we came back then. Oh shit, was that four? Nice. Alright, what do we got? Um, for the sake of a guess... Well, I don't remember... Did we get other canisters in this area? I don't think we did, did we? Okay, I'm going to take a guess at a creation upgrade. Just, just for the sake of it. Ah, uh, no! Except, what? Oh, battle shaping! Oh shit, it is a... It, it is a creation upgrade. Technically. Wait, really? Yeah. I, I don't think I've read one of these before. Enables to create more battle, more powerful battle creations. Battle creations are more durable. Yeah, yeah, it's just a normal. Yeah, I don't think we've uh, got any canisters for battle shaping, have we? No, we must have. Because it's up. Uh, yeah. A anyway. Very nice. Wow. Okay, these are going to be... Okay, yeah, because they were strong, right? Or did that... Oh no, I keep, I keep doing that. I keep uh, mixing them up, how that works. Like, or am I, oh wait, no. Maybe I'm not. I was thinking I was mixing up what I was mixing up. Oh my God. Okay, but there does seem, that was what I happened last time. There seems to be like a weird delay. Um, Cause yeah, now they're weak. I was thinking, um, yeah. I must've been mixing that up then. Because this adds to, yeah, so I think well, what I sort of got mixed up with is like, um, like if, if they go up in level, obviously they become harder to control, but I think what I got mixed up with, like, um, we got one of these, but because we went up a level, it also lessened it. So I, I don't know. I, I think I just mixed things up there. I, I don't even know. Uh, but nonetheless, we, we now have five, uh, fire and battle shaving. So that's worked out really well. And yeah, so we must have got canisters with battle shaving before, considering how high it is. I just, I couldn't remember that kind of wording before, but it's been, I mean, to be fair, I've already been playing this, when is it? it? Must be like two months now, which is kind of crazy. So yeah, I, I'm probably forgetting a few things. But no, that's uh, that's really good. Um, it does, yeah, this is unfortunate because of my, we were sort of sitting on a, uh, yeah, well, they were on fours, so it is unfortunate that they're now weak, but it is only 
two. So that's not bad. And it is five. Like, that's the lowest of week. So, you know, it's not like it could be six or... I think seven. Is seven become very weak? Or... Now, either way, it's not that bad. Um, as soon as we get a level up to, we'll be able to... Which, that'll probably be a little bit away, to be fair. Yeah, we have a, quite a ways. Hmm. Okay. So, we could still... Yeah, so they're level 15 now. These guys... Okay, 13 for Harry. 14 for those. 15 for them. Okay. So, and we could get another level on that if we wanted to. But that would be... Yeah, okay, no, it goes from weak to poor, then it's very poor. Okay, okay. Don't mind me. I'm a, I'm a tad sleep deprived. Uh, that's, uh, not an excuse, just, uh, once again, the way it is. Not that that, uh, explains everything, but might explain some of my confusion. Uh, no, that was really good. That was, uh, definitely worth checking. So what are they at? They... Wait. Do they not go up in hell? I'm pretty damn sure they were... Wait, was it... Oh, maybe they were 140 and 141 last time? Is that maybe what I'm thinking of? Yeah, I'm not even going to try and... Yeah, no, that's probably right. Alright, that was a... Uh, Alright, that took a little bit longer than I probably should have, I admit, but... That's fine. It was a good upgrade. Um, yeah, it would be... I mean, I'm, I'm already this far in, but... And I guess you could only... I mean, maybe it's in the files somewhere. I'm just, I really am curious about what control level truly means because obviously, you know, you go from four to five and suddenly you're going from adequate to weak and they sound a lot different. Adequate sounds quite good, you know, like adequate is good enough. Basically you would, I guess you'd describe that. But then weak's like, eh. So I don't know how much I should be concerned about that. Like in a, in a literal sense, like um, you know, is the difference between four and five, like a 5% chance, a 10% chance? Like, I, I assume it's basically like every one point is a certain percentage and then each time you make a move, there's a chance of that or something. But I don't know if it's like a compounding thing, like it gets worse and worse to a significant degree or, hmm, like it would be good to know. So that way we'd have a bit more flexibility on this, like... For example, if poor is actually not that much different than weak, it might be worth getting this upgrade sort of thing. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, let's uh, let's get to killing things, I guess. So, I guess this is going to be a group of Sholai we have to take out. So that's uh, it's always fun times. Which, uh, yeah, I mean, we we've considering, yeah, we got a level up, which added to both of those. Plus, then we just got that. So compared to like just two parts ago, we've actually had a pretty, uh, pretty good upgrade. So this should be good. Oh, very nice. Thirty-five and poison. What level are you? All right, ten. I mean, that's no joke for a battle alpha. So, all right. Ah, uh, that's also yeah. I wonder when we're getting battle alphas. Um, I'm really curious to try them out. Like, um, I'm curious if they will be able to replace that or not. Um, because they they seem to have like a um. A pretty good AOE attack, like that. I mean, you've got to be up close, but yeah, I don't know. It seems like it could be good. We'll have to see. How are we doing? Our right, twenty essence. It's good. All right, very good, very good. I um, I wonder how far. This is just my brain just going to a random thought here. I wonder how far we are through the game. Like, there's definitely still quite a lot to go, but I'm curious. Because uh, we've definitely greened up this area quite nicely, but I imagine there's still uh, quite a bit to go. <laughs> Oop. No, I guess it's fine. I ended combat, but it was actually fine. <laughs> Let's go with that. I mean, they're only individuals, which is okay. Um, so I guess that's not a big deal. Uh, but yeah, I think, like, going against these, the fact that we can take them down as comfortably as we can, it's like a real testament to this party. Like, um, I think it was a smart way to go, like, even though we only ended up actually reducing seven down to five, which doesn't seem like much, I, I think it's been a really good move. Like, um, like I can still see this party working fine with Wormy. Like, I think that was good too. Um, but I do think even though we haven't sort of got used to using the claw bug that much yet, uh, the health is just awesome. Like, it's really good, you know, being able to have these, 
they're, they're, they're fine too, but you know, just having like the two tanky ones, um, both at least with one range option, him jumping, him with like with the acid, like, I think it's quite good. So I really, I don't know, I, I could see this being our permanent party going forward, um, which is sort of how it's happened anyway, but I hadn't sort of set it in stone, but I'm not seeing any reason to make changes right now. Um, the only potential changes I could see is, um, I am curious about, uh, the battle alphas, obviously, like, um, if they can't do a jump or anything like that, which I don't think they can, that may mean sad is more, uh, thad is more suited to how we're going, but, I don't know, it's, uh, they just seem like an upgraded version, you know, so it's hard to say, um, should we, no, you're okay, don't need to heal yet. Um, but yeah, I guess they might be, they could be like a bigger, dumber version of the Thads or something, you know? Um, I don't know, it's a... Uh, I mean, to be fair, we may want a six party member, like a few levels down the line where we can manage that without impacting everyone. Um, cause yeah, I could just see the battle alpha, like if you can get them up front and you got like a, like a leveled up one, it feels like you could really do a lot with that. Okay, it looks like we're stuck in combat, so... Duh, duh, duh. Are they actually aggroed? No, okay. Let's do a quick save. Oh, it's so nice. I, I, um... Hopefully it's not like... Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Hopefully my keyboard isn't too clicky. I got a new keyboard. Um, it's a mechanical keyboard. So it's probably a lot more clicky, but man, it's nice. Because one thing that I'd gotten used to with that, um... Logitech uh, wireless keyboard that I'd been using... And I should probably fight while I'm talking here. Uh, one thing I'd had to go, get used to is the fact that the F3 keys were doubled up um, with like media functions and various things like that. So, um, can I get one more? Yes. Um, so because of that, if I wanted to ever use F keys, I would have to hold function. So I got used to things like in this game, for example, I'd have to do function F3 to quick save. So it's really nice being back to a normal keyboard, like, uh, it's, it shouldn't be this nice, but it, it really is. Um, if, uh, I don't know what model this is actually. Can I see? In case you're curious. Uh, it's a Corsair K63. It's a, it's a smaller size mechanical keyboard, but it's, uh, it's really nice. I, I really like it. It's just, um... I don't know, it's got nothing sort of extra to it, it's just sort of the main thing. It doesn't have a numpad. That's really the only, it's like a full-size keyboard without a numpad. And it's got like a small extra bit at the top which has like media keys and a thing to turn the uh, color, uh, the lights behind the keys on and off. It's probably the best way I could uh, surmise that. It's really good though, I, I'm, I'm really happy with it so far. It's definitely a lot more clicky than I'm used to because the... Uh, the uh, Logitech one I had's like not clicky at all. It was like a more like felt a bit more like a laptop, and it's just it's really convenient. But I sort of used it because it was small. So I was like, wait, why don't I just try and find like a good keyboard that's also small? So that's what I did, and I found one quite quickly. There's a there's a surprising amount of smaller um, mechanical keyboards you can get. So I thought I'd try out Corsair since I don't know. I had I really hadn't ever used Corsair for much of anything in general. But I got a Corsair mouse and I quite liked it, so I was like, alright, why not? I'll uh I'll try a Corsair keyboard and Yeah, so far so good. I haven't like checked if you can do anything fancy with it. It comes with, like all the lights are default red. And you can change the brightness of them, but I don't know if you can actually switch to other colours or anything. Not that it matters that much, it's quite nice as it is, but But yeah, if you're uh, looking for a smaller mechanical keyboard, I I'd definitely take a look at Corsair ones. I mean at least to me this seems really good so far. Um, and that went pretty well, considering my rambling. Uh, but one of the nice thing about it that I really like is like, uh, the keys are quite raised up. So like, you can actually see part of the key mechanism under the keys. Like they're not, they're not flushed down sort of thing. Um, you can actually see the switches slightly so that they're quite raised up, but it also has like underneath it, it's like, um, it's all red underneath it, right? But it's connected to the sides. So it's like, if you've got like an air canister or something, you can just blow straight through it. Like there's no real way to get like um, crap built up, uh, built up under it. It um, yeah, it, it seems like it's gonna be really good to be able to clean it like that. I don't know if I explained that very well, but you'll you'll see if you see the keyboard. Just yeah, it's like um, 
it's like it's got a red base all over the board um, where the keys are, and then the keys are all on top of that. But there's no like little gaps in there. They don't, so you can't get shit like stuck down inside the keyboard like on a lot. Um, yeah, you just be able to use like an air blower thingy and clear it out really easy. So I didn't actually know it was like that. Um, so that was just sort of a nice surprise when I realized that. It just feel a little weird because the, the keys really are very raised up, but uh, I'm getting used to that quite fast, so it's not really a bother. But yeah, it's just, <laughs> just to be curious about my keyboard, that's that. Um, yeah, it's definitely going to be more clicky, but well, it probably won't really matter for this uh, particular game since it's not the most keyboard intensive. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I hadn't really thought about the clickiness. <laughs> so, cause that's really my mic issue. I don't know why this picks up so much, like... But, you know, can't really do that much about it. Anyway, let's uh, let's get back to this. <laughs> it's enough keyboard rambling for right now. But we're doing pretty well. The fact that I can ramble through a battle with alphas... Uh, ra ramble through a battle with battle alphas, uh, I guess is a good sign. So, you know, there's that. Um, and where do you lead to? Interesting. Oh, Doc Runes. Okay. So there is definitely something down this way then. Maybe that'll be uh, where Yula mentioned. Oh shit, did I? Oh, I didn't actually mean to go here. I always do that. All right, back here first. And this one's already green, apparently. It's, yeah, it said, yeah, we, yeah. I don't know. Wait, what? Oh, nope, just, just uh, hit space, apparently. All good. But yeah, I don't know if these are like, Related to the rebels or the Sholai people like are the battle alphas just chilling or are they under their command or oh shit Didn't even see you there. How you doing? But uh, yeah, we're doing pretty well against them. I would have to say Are they all level 10? I haven't been actually looking at them. I assume they probably are Which uh Yeah, the fact that, I mean we're level like yes, yeah, so it's 13 to 15 now, so yeah, it's uh, we've definitely shifted things a lot, I feel like, since we changed the crew up. Honestly, as I've been thinking too, just on that note, as much as I love Harry, I honestly wonder if he is the best fit for this group. Like, I almost wonder if a second Roma wouldn't be a better option, to be honest. Like, I don't know, as much as like, I, I really like the AoE, um, but it does feel like more and more that Targeting single targets and being able to get them down as fast as possible. It actually works out better than spreading the damage out because yeah I mean, that's really just that like I, I find it. It's working out better and that's sort of I think what's been happening more and more with this group So I don't know it, it is honestly tempting to have another Roma or bring Lenny back. I suppose that would actually be um, I don't know I feel like I don't know, it would probably be circumstantial to a degree. Like, I'm sure there'll be times where we'd want that AoE, but... I don't know, it's a tough one, because these, like... Kenny can do some serious damage. Where's the uh, actual... Well, and that's a 62 to... A 62, 26 to 82, don't mind me. Uh, versus, you know, 16 to 44, 9 to 47, like... It's it's a substantial difference, so how much uh, wait, how much essence did it cost? Twenty-six for an upgraded Kenny, twenty-two for Harry. Yeah. You know, a bit different, comparable though. Uh, but also we can have these up slightly higher level, I guess, too. I don't know, it's a tough one. But I feel like we're almost like we could go full battle shaping and it wouldn't be bad. Like even Larry is great, but I don't know, it's like, they're working well as a part of this team, but I don't know if they're really the strength of this team. Um, it feels more like the strength of this team is coming from, um, I don't know how, like, uh, it, it's more just the fact that they're higher level, I think, more than anything. Like, having Thad, I think, is good. Roma does serious damage, and, like, it, it's, they all work together. But I don't know if these are the ones really pulling their weight sort of thing. Like, I can't help but think, even, like, honestly, replacing both of these with Romas, I, I could see being potentially better. Because even, like, Larry, it's great, but, and he does more damage, but it's still not the same amount as a Roma. The only real thing is that he has ice damage, which often doesn't mean anything with 
like type damage hasn't been really a big thing. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, more damage, but still not as much as Aroma. It's really only what that he gets a cone shot every three turns, or once in every three turns. Like uh, I don't know. It's um, I, I could definitely see this working with three uh, Aromas. I just don't know if that's better or not. It's uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know if you have any thoughts on that. It's just uh, I can't help but think that maybe it would be good. Like I said, that's like. Yeah, because they, they can just never sort of compete um, like that. Hmm. I don't know. It's a it's a tough one. I mean, yeah, thirty essence for Larry too. Well, so what is that? Thirty and twenty-two. Yeah, that's literally the cost then. So we could actually absorb um, both of these for the exact cost that would. Cr to make two more uh, roamers exactly the setup like this, even with uh, the hardiness. Hmm. I don't know, that is tempting. As I said, I feel like this is better and it is working, but are they really the reason sort of thing? I feel like the less with higher stats, like the higher levels, allowing for better hit ratios, better miss ratios on us, you know, it's really that that's made this help. Um, stand out so much and actually do so well. Hmm. I don't know. Um, I really actually am quite tempted towards that. Like, it's something I've sort of thought on a little, but now I sort of, like, actually think it out, in a sense, and say it out loud. It's like, I feel like it makes a lot of sense. You know? Um, like, of the last few parts when we've been using them, especially, it's like, how much has the AoE from these been the standout? And I'd say not, not much at all. Like, it's nice. Um, I obviously still think uh, being able to get multiple targets has huge value but is it better than being able to do potentially like double the damage in a single hit on one with aroma so hmm I think the one thing and it's not a good reason but it it would bother me a little not using them because of the fact we've invested in fire shaping like that's not a good reason for it but I hate the idea of wasted stuff, like, because we, we've put, I think, at least three into fire shaping ourselves through levels. And the idea that we could have that in the battle shaping, it's like, ah, uh, you know, if we went that way sort of thing. Oh, no, wait, Roma's fire. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting mixed up here, aren't I? Oh, no, of course. Right. Yeah, no. Dumb, dumb. Don't mind me. Okay, that's good then. That's good. Okay. I don't know. I, I don't know why I was thinking of Roma as the battle one. Okay, well, that alleviates some of that, so that's nice. Um, but as I said, let me know what you think on it. I'm still... I don't know. I I can't see a lot of downside to it. I think is really what it just comes down to. Um, yeah. Because they, they just do so much damage. I mean, just like, what, 34, 48? Well, that was somewhat comparable, but... Um, the same with, like, Harry is also the thing of level too, like... Um, Harry's at level 13, all maxed out here. Um, so, and it is only one difference, but still, you know, I don't know. I, hmm. I'm, I'm not sure like how to like weigh it up exactly. Cause I feel like a lot of it's, I'm thinking it out, but a lot of it's sort of a bit gut level in a sense too. It's not like empirical, like I haven't, you know, paid truly enough attention to how much I'm using the sprays on these and how much damage exactly they're doing and things like it just seems like Rome has such a powerful hit though so yeah and you you could use a heal eh buddy I had not realized that so that is my bad I mean hmm I'm really I'm stuck on that thought now because like could, I guess probably like first would be you know, swap out Harry for Lenny because I think, as much as I love these guys, yeah, there's not a lot of benefit to them over the Roma. Uh, I, I'm going to sit on it, I guess, but um, I'm definitely leaning that way. Hmm. I mean, I, I guess it's obviously just testing it out. Like, there's nothing wrong with just running with it, obviously. Um, there's no big decision about it. It's just, you know, a couple of them go and chill in 
limbo with the other guys and, you know, bring Lenny back, make a new Roma. It's no, it's no big thing to try it or anything. Um, oh, right. We're, uh, filled up with crap again, aren't we? What? Oh, what? Really? You, okay. You can't move stuff to your junk bag while you're in combat, apparently. Okay. Didn't realize that. Let's take this thing out. Which, uh, what level are they? Oh, six. Okay. Not bad. These things aren't really a concern other than they're pretty crazy AOE, which seems to be just like spraying a shit ton of thorns, which is, which is uh, a little bit deadly. All right. Very good. Well, um, you know what? I, I feel like I'm, it's not going to get go off my mind. So we might do that. I don't know if I want to do it right now or I feel like that'd be the thing to do though. You know what? Let's, let's do it. It's not, I'm, you know, it's better off to try it, you know? So, all right, let's just, uh, let's jump back to town real quick. Okay. We are back at town. So, uh, all right. Harry X, uh, Harry the 10th, I should say, and Larry the 8th, you two are going to have a very well-deserved rest, especially Larry. I feel like he, uh, he's been through some shit. Although <laughs> Harry the 10th, I think his name also says that. So appreciate you guys. You can have a rest for a little while. Gonna just ignore that happening and you're just safely being in limbo land. There we go. Very nice. Nothing, nothing deathly happened. And let's grab our essence back. And you. Okay. So first up, we will return Lenny, which, um, what was Lenny? Lenny the fifth. Right. Get you back. Lenny the fifth. Very good. Lenny's already been through some shit. All right, let's grab that. That was all of them, right? I think. Like that? Yes, very good. All right. We have Kenny the third, Lenny the fifth. Now, who are we bringing on? Who will this mysterious new Rome be? I think it may in fact be their long lost brother, Benny. <laughs> Yes, we're going with Benny. He's the first thing that came to mind that rhymed and it feels fitting, so... Benny. I'm sorry, Clawbug, you, you probably deserve a name, but... How could I not have Kenny, Lenny, and Benny? That's like... That's perfection right there. Uh, but yes, that's what we're running with. Um, I don't know, it's gonna be an experiment, you know? Benny, hopefully you, uh, hopefully you get to stick around, but, uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I, um... And said it wouldn't have it wouldn't have uh, left my mind if I didn't try it out and in fact it's just like why not try it out like I said it's it's not a big thing <laughs> um yeah so I think this could be good it's definitely not as colorful uh I'm gonna miss the blue and red guy but yeah it's actually a really boring looking team now <laughs> uh I wish we could have the guardian roamers those pink bastards look awesome but you know that's fine um yeah We'll see how it goes. I honestly think this could be really good. Uh, not as interesting, but I, I think this could actually be really good. So we'll see how we go there. Um, I guess we don't, yeah, we're not really working with any innate haste anymore though, are we? Right? Yeah. So I guess we have to keep that in mind. Not that I've kept it much in mind, just it is probably worth uh, always hasting up. Like I, yeah, I don't know. It'd be good next level because hopefully we won't well, we shouldn't really need to spend any essence, so we'll have like 30 or so essence spare, like once we level up again, which will be nice. Um, granted, that could be a little while. I don't know. How much, uh, are we getting much EXP here? I hadn't been paying much attention, like, I don't know what we, oh shit, damn it. Ah, I've really got to, i really got to do better on them. Um, yeah, I haven't been paying attention to how much the battle alphas have been giving us. Oh man, they just, they do so much damage, it's so good. Like, hitting 50s just casual like, it, it's pretty great. Um, do we want to haste? I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's probably no point in situations like this, really. Um, best to just conserve our essence for the area. Not that it takes much effort to get it back, obviously, but. I think this is the, the claw bug, this is the only downside, is things like this where it's like, I just can't do anything. I guess at best put it out here and hopefully it takes some damage, so. That's not nothing. Um, just, I could definitely see benefit to Wormy, um, being able to always have the range attack, but 
I don't know, as long as I keep him out front and it's tanking a bit, that, that's probably pretty worthwhile. Uh, can you hit from there maybe? Nope, that was a little bit much. Now right, what about you? Some fancy shot? There we go. 61, beautiful. Very good. And a 50. <laughs> like, it's so good. Yeah, I, I could see this being really good, honestly. Which, uh, it, it's good and bad, you know. I'll, uh, I'll miss the Fioras and the Cryoa that I always just call a Fiora, but... I don't know. Yeah, could be good. Oh, that's a... Ah, uh, I... I wonder if it's possible to edit these. Like, if we could actually edit one of these into a Guardian Roma, like in the files. Ah, that's an interesting thought. These caverns are an old claw bug lair. All of these pests were driven out a while ago. Um, and like, obviously if there was stats that made them stronger, I wouldn't want to do that. But if like, you can specifically change like the graphic file, like setup. Oh shit, that, that is possible actually. Ooh, that could be fun. Uh, depending on a couple of things. Cause I, I don't know what the guardian rooms actually are. Because they're like a pink version, but I don't know if that's just like an enemy thing or what. Um, because technically, like, I, I can... The same way that I changed the size of these. If you recall when I did that, uh, and if you didn't see it a few parts ago, I messed up one of the graphic... Uh, well, I accidentally changed one of the graphic templates rather than the sizing, and it made one of them turn into a bunch of, like, weapons and all sorts of other shit. They were just like... Sp yeah, it was very weird. Um, but yes, I, I could actually find the Guardian Roma ID and set it for these, and so these would actually look like Guardian Romas and function all the same, um, in theory. Well, yeah, no, right, yeah, because it's only... Right, so they definitely wouldn't be stat stuff. It's purely graphics, so it would only change them. They would work the same for us. Um, the only thing is that I, I, could, I could only do it for all of them. I wouldn't be able to do it for just one of them. I don't know, let me know what you think of that. I just, uh, I, I kind of think that would be kind of fun. I don't know, I mean, I'm, I'm, for the most part in games, I like to stick very canon. I don't like modding games often and things like I, I don't know. It's just with these, like, it, it just feels like it's a bit of fun. Um, I don't know, having like three pink roamers in the crew sounds kind of cool. Although I don't know if there's others, like, hmm. Yeah, I, I don't I know how all that works, actually. Um, I'm just avoiding them because I don't know if there's a switch somewhere. There could be. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you have any thoughts on the, on the Guardians. Like, I'm still not, I don't really know what they are. Um, so sort of like, if there's a way that we can get them or something, I probably wouldn't. Or if, I don't know. I just, I just the, the crew's a little bit plain looking and some pink roamers would look pretty awesome, I feel like. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's sort of an interesting thing that you can do that, though, so easily. Because uh, of the way it's programmed. Which does make it fun. So I guess that, yeah, I mean, we could technically do that for any of them, then. I hadn't thought about that. It's not just the Romas. Like, I could make, um, like, I could change Thad to use the Volatile Thad skin and make him pink if I wanted to, for example. Uh, that'd be kind of cool. Have a whole pink crew. That'd be interesting. But yeah, I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll have a think on that. I don't know. I, I still feel like it's fun, but I, I'm also like, just, I get weird about like non-canon things, even though, I don't know, it doesn't really matter in this, but I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Just some thoughts. Uh, anyway, Refugee Cave. You have discovered a small outpost full of humans, not from your lands, not shapers are common. They are the invaders, the ones who stranded you on Susha. They see you and draw their weapons, but they don't approach. One of them shouts something in their tongue. You don't understand it. Then one of them sheathes his blade. He points at the other people and says, Sholai, peace. Then he holds out open hands. Others shout news of your arrival through the tunnels. The hostile turret turn their barrels away from you. Okay. Apparently these Sholai are willing to let you enter peacefully. Considering their kind invaded your lands and killed your ship, you aren't sure how friendly you feel. Um, your skin grow starts to glow slightly. A stranger... Your skin starts to glow slightly. A strange rage grows within you, making your muscles twitch and your skin burn. You concentrate and get these alien feelings under control. The Sholai don't realize anything odd has happened. Okay. So... Warm welcome, perhaps? I mean, our, our mission is to kill them. Hmm. Alright, we'll just, uh... We might chat there, so we'll just quite a quick look here. 
finish what we're looking at. Oh, okay, so that connects up. Oh yeah, okay. Kevin Williams. Uh, Solioni. Okay. Uh, Nasu. Oh, there's a few people here, apparently. Okay. And Ma Marsha. Okay. Weird box thingy. Alright, what exactly is the situation here? And why, oh, I mean, I guess, well, yeah, okay. I, I don't know what's going on here. I was thinking, wait, why are we actually killing them? I mean, I guess it was just a job, and I assumed they would attack on site, so I didn't really worry about it. And I mean, the troll are basically our enemies, but that's not to say they all are. That's sort of the thing now. Um, it could just be that one guy, like, it, these guys aren't even necessarily involved with Trash Cob sort of thing. So, hmm, okay, I think that's, uh, mostly all explored, although there is the mines, I don't know if we, do we want to worry about them yet? Probably not, um, I don't know, I guess we, Nasu and fishing, good stuff, yeah, well, this is a weird area, alright, you sort of feel like the leader person? Somewhat. So I guess we'll try here first. Alright, Nasu, how you doing? The servo has thrown his lot in with the small group of Shoalai outsiders. He bows to you. I am Nasu, Hello Shaper. He is young, free of scars or tattoos. Um, he is neither obedient nor craven. What are you doing here, Servo? Shaper, I was a taker of Kazk, almost. I believe that we well, I will not bore you with my little thoughts. Then Norel came, and she started dealing with Trajkov and the Sholite, and I thought it was mad, so I fled, and I came here. Uh, what? Um, so the, I guess these Sholai aren't involved then? Because, I mean, that, hmm, okay. Maybe these people are more involved with Ular or something, or more of the same mind, or, hmm. Can you teach me the Sholai tongue? I know too little, I can't help. Tell me about Norel. She's a strong leader of the Takers. So strong, she will lead all Serviles to death. Well, that's probably not a good thing. What do you think of the Takers? They want to kill us. They might even have sent you to kill us. Any Takers who come here, we kill. Otherwise, they will use tricks to kill us all. I see. The Takers are deadly. To the, sh to the Shapers, to the Serviles, to all. I renounce them. Tell me about these outsiders. The Sholai are strange. Some are just explorers. They don't mean harm. Marsha... Marsha is the leader here. She is to the north. Deal with her. She is wise and she has things to say that you should hear. If you decide to help her, come back to me. If you are with us, I can tell you things which could help you. Okay. Is this another faction? Like, the, the nice show life action or something? Okay, I have another question. Uh, tell me about these outsiders. Oh, that's just the same, right. Okay. Fair enough. Not, uh... Not at all sure what to make of this so far. I guess we'll talk to Kevin, then Solioni, and then we'll go up to Marsha. Oh, this is a trading post? Okay. God damn it, I keep going to hit F5 uh, to do quick saves. I don't think it would actually matter because I don't think it's bound to anything, but... Wait, is it? Oh, it is. Okay, well, it's not a big deal. I just, uh... It's like, you got like the, you know... F1, F4, then you got F5, F8, F9, F12, and they're like grouped up. On my other keyboard, um, three was like on the end, so I keep going to, yeah, it's, just, it's different positioning I'm getting used to. Anyway, let's uh, see how you're doing, Kevin. Okay, this outsider doesn't speak any of your tongue. He's slightly more friendly than the other Sholai. He points at his chest and says with a smile, Kevin Williams. Then he points at a nearby cow camper and says, Marsha, talk Marsha. Okay, fair enough. Um, I think it was, yeah, it was only, was there anyone else named? It was just, uh, Solioni and Marsha, I think. Okay. How you doing, Solioni? You meet one of the Sholai wizards. Several heavy, heavy pouches hang from his belt and sacks of goods are at his feet. He looks very nervous, as if he expects you to attack him at any moment. He points at himself and says, Solioni, then he backs away a step. Can you speak my tongue? Solioni looks at you blankly. Then he points at his chest and says, Solioni again. A pause. Sholai. Solioni. The conversation goes downhill from there. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Because there's a trading post, so I thought maybe we'd still be able to trade. Fair enough. 
All right. Well, this is the... I don't know. I don't have bad vibes so far from here. So we shall see. What is that thing? It's bothering me. Can I open you? What are you? There is a crystal box. Sherbas sometimes make them. They are rare and prized. When you start to open it, Marsha walks up and stops you. Please, Shaper, that is mine. Okay, that's fair enough. What's this? Uh, pull lever. Uh, okay, can't do that. Alright, let's, uh, what do you got to say, Marsha? You meet one of the outsider humans, a middle-aged woman. She stands tall and proud. Her facial features are clearly human, but strange and alien. She is but a person trapped here like you, yet you can't help but feel anger and disgust. What? Why? Okay. This is an invader, after all. It lands barred by the shapers. See, I don't like some of the things where it says like this, because it's like, that's not very roleplay. Like, I don't. I don't feel that. Why are you telling me that I feel like that? You know? <laughs> this is an invader, after all. It lands barred by the shapers. Yeah, but who gives a fuck, right? Like, even if we are a shaper, like, who gives a fuck if something's been barred? Like, like, who gives a shit about something like that, you know? Anyway, this is an invader, after all. It lands barred by the shapers. There is only one punishment for that crime. Swift death. You manage to crush your instinct to lash out at her for a moment. Hey, what, are you, what are you talking about my instinct? Like, why are you implying that I have this? Like, I'm like a junior shaper. I haven't even been through proper training and shit, have I? Like, and, I don't know. It's like, no, stop telling me I feel these things when I don't. She holds out her hands in a gesture of peace. She speaks crudely using your own language. Shaper, I am Marsha of the Sholai. We are strangers, far from away, stranded in your land. We wish to deal with you. Who are the Sholai? We are people from land far away. She points west. Icy land, harsh, across sea. We are great explorers. We came here. This makes sense. No Shaper has ever crossed the western sea. Some consider it to be impossible. This is obviously incorrect. The Sholai had probably never even heard of Shapers before they landed here. This does not, of course, change the fact that the laws dictate that all outsiders on barred islands must be killed. Yeah, but who gives a fuck? Like, what? I, I don't care about laws. Like, what? If it's a law that has a meaning, sure, but I'm not just, like, blindly going to follow laws just because they exist. Like, it I'm, doesn't mean I'm personally going to break them, but it doesn't mean I give a shit if others break them. Which, I mean, maybe that's just my own personal philosophy, you know? I, I don't really care about laws. And in the real world, if they have no meaning, like, I might follow them, but it doesn't mean I'm going to judge someone poorly for them not following most of them. You know, there's only a few laws that I'm ever going to judge someone for breaking. And that's usually because it involves something heinous. Like, so, so my attitude's sort of the same for this. Uh, but anyway, um, invader, being here is punishable by death. Yeah, like, what? No, I'm sorry. Because that, that lot, and it also feels like it doesn't even apply because are we not the same? Like, we don't, like, just because we're a shaper doesn't mean that's different. Like, as I understand it, like, the Bard Island is Bard. It's to all, not to everyone but shapers. So, even if we ended up here by circum like odd circumstances, like, are we not in the same position as them, basically? Like, at least by the law? Uh, I don't know. I I'm probably reading into it a bit too much, but I, I guess because this game has such strong writing, I can't help it, you know? You know what I mean? Uh, anyway, I welcome you, Sholai. I hope we can have peace, which I do. Like, seriously, like, why would I, why would I want to not have peace? We aren't, I'm not trying to, I'm not desperate for resources fighting some, I don't know. Like, you know, sure, let's have peace. I hope to. You are good and, you are good and mercy. Not all hate you. Not all invade and attack. We deal with you. Hope for peace and escape. Ask me, I will tell more freely. Who are you? Why are you on Susha Island? Marsha smiles, relieves that you are willing to listen. This is a core of deal, being much I tell now. I tell our story. You ready? Tell me your story. Yes, we were explorers to cross great street to cross great sea. Three large ship, one sinks on way, many lost, hunger, water and wind eat sails, no food, then miracle. We see island here, we land. One more boat lost, bottom ripped on harsh rocks, only one boat left, not enough for us. We trapped on this Susha Island. Our leader, tall captain, go to explore. Leader is Trashkov. What happened to the third boat? You burn it. When it attack you, we do not attack. Dumb to attack you. Fools, we would never do that. What? You burn it. When it attack you, we not attack. Dumb to attack you. Fools, we would never do that. What? Uh. 
Is that meaning like, as in, you, is it, are they talking about us? Like we burned it when they attacked us? Uh, I feel like I'm not reading that as intended. Anyway, tell me more about Trashkov. What did he find? He found old deep tunnels. She points to the northeast. Mad Trashkov explore. Find secrets of you. He look for shelter. He find madness. He find books and labs on your secrets. He is, oh, so maybe you're saying you, though, meaning shapers? He look for shelter. He find madness. He find books and labs in your secrets. He has all come ashore. Tells to hide in tunnels. We look for food and settle to repair. He studies your secrets. Learns your talk. Learns how to use canisters. Ah. So that, they'd been alluding to it, but they hadn't actually mentioned canisters yet. So yes. He gains your power and he shares it with those he trusts most. And then he gets plans. And then he gets plans. Trejkov has used the canisters. Trezhkov takes your power. He does many mighty things. Trezhkov is not shaper. He is common. For him to use shaper powers is utterly forbidden. Hmm. What are his plans? He find out you have... He find out you have something. Call it Gene Forge. Amazing power thing. He want to use it. Can't. It not ready. It need full shaper for some reason. So he get a shaper. Not you though. He get another shaper first. He sent out ship. Steel... Goach? Goach? He said, uh, steel, goetch, gosh, gosh, gooch. I have no idea how to say that. Goetch, sh, gooch, gooch. I'm going to say gooch, I think. I don't think it's right, but goetch, goetch, goetch. He sent out, he, he sent out ship, steel goetch. Goetch is an old shaper. He comes and learns of Gene Forge, but then he flees. Trashkov anger. Goetch is still on iron. We don't know what he is doing. He here. Trashkov want power. He give command to get you. Then we know we must flee. And Fisa, Trashkov assistant, make plan. We take small boat. We slip away. Then things go wrong. Uh, okay. Another shaper is here right now. Yes, go Goetch. Goetch. Oh my god. Goetch. 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 Yes, Goetch. I'm going to go Goetch. Ah, oh, it just feels wrong. I, I hate not knowing names, man. Yes, Goetch. You have never met him. Is still here, hiding. Far. Not know where. Maybe dead. What do you know about my abduction? Madness. Stupid madness. Trezhkov send our last ship. You destroy us. We trapped. That all we know. Forgive our foolishness. Oh. So is that saying that... Oh, okay. So they... So them destroying our ship was them trying to kidnap me? Um, so, so did we take one down one of their ships in the process then? I didn't remember that. Like, I don't recall it reading of that. Like, but did we attack one of their ships in, in turn and actually destroyed one or, I mean, that's all the way back to the beginning. Like when I played the demo. So, oof. Yeah, no, I don't quite remember. Like, I, I remember obviously thinking you're getting attacked on that. Like, I remember the basics. So I, I don't recall if it said that we specifically attacked back or, hmm. What went wrong? I was just less than... I was just less than Anfisa, no less of what Trajkov was doing. She knew much, and she have journal, it in chest. She points to the sea chest against the wall just north west of the fire. Ah, that fancy one, I guess. Magical chest, locked. But when we flee, Trajkov knows, sends ship after us. He sinks small on docks at southeast corner of Isle, and Fisa killed. We see other humans, afraid of them. We flee into tunnels. Key to chest still on Anfisa body. We think it is back at the docks. We want to be in chest. We think things inside help us with goals. Uh, okay. So I'm still, I'm... So what, like, did most of them try to get away from Trajkov or something? Hmm. There are other humans at the southeast docks. Yes, saw, but not good. Don't know who are. Came after us. Still there, maybe. They had small boat. Had to flee it. Too small for us. What are your goals? Trashkov is mad. He plays with awful balance. Angers your people. Attacks them. Shoal our mission is to meet people and make peace. Trashkov is true rogue. Raising hate in your people. Hurting the Sholai. Trashkov must be dead. Then we will try to meet with your people in peace. That is the goal we have. I see. Um, I can help you open the chest? That is what we wish for and hope. That is dealing we want. Go southeast. Find body and Enfisa. 
hope to find her key. In return, we share with you. We hope you angry by Trajkov as we are. We find common cause. What should I know about the docks? Had been secured. Traps, monsters. Are humans there? Don't know them. Maybe they make defences. Watch for them. They might be friend. Maybe? So what, is there another group of humans on the island? Like what's, what exactly is going on? Marsha says, can we still deal, Shaper? The Sholo smiles nervously. These alien invaders at least have the same facial expressions as you. Um, hmm. Can you, you speak my language? Can you teach me some of yours? I'm glad to. First we need help. Fair trade. Straight across. First, I tell you our story and you help us. Then I teach. There is something I want to know. Yes, I help. Tell me about yourself. So little to say. I'm explorer. None at home. No family. I say I will die to cross Great Sea. We go. We don't die. We find new land. I may die here. Hope I do not. Her eyes gleam with enthusiasm. So much to know. Learn. First we must escape horrible island. Hmm. Um, you know this island is forbidden to you? The penalty for being here is death? She looks down at the ground. We know this now. Our choice was landing here or death. We were ignorant of rules. We hope you choose justice over law. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about the law. I'm not that one. Like, seriously, what? You, uh, you, <laughs> yeah. I'm looking for a boat. Where can I find one? First, please let, please let, first, please let me tell of story and ask for help. Then, if you can help us, we give you information straight across trade. Uh, alright. Fair enough. Right, so... Yeah, it seems like more and more the show I guess, started to realize Trajkov was just going crazy and getting power hunger and shit. Um, but obviously this also conflict, like, we we have a quest to kill all the people here. Um, but I I have no reason to do that at all. The, these aren't, like, my enemy show I these are just literally random people, I guess, who landed on the island sort of thing. Like, I, I really have no grudge. Even if they were, like, part of the group who sunk my ship, it's like, I, I feel no hostility towards them, so I have no reason to go on a murder spree. Uh, you know? Um, so, I guess we have to go and find that chest key. Is that down here, perhaps? Doc Runes? Wait, yeah, where was that actually referenced? I didn't, uh... There is a hidden group of Shola invaders in caves east of Kaz. Their leader, Marsha, asks you to recover a key from the docks at the southeast corner of the island. Okay. So, would that be this then? Is this in fact considered southeast? Because I, I said, like, I've said before, like, I mean, I feel like that's basically east. But, maybe that actually is southeast then? Can see in this? Which could mean that's actually what you La mentioned, maybe? In... Because she said southeast, and I didn't take this to really mean southeast. Um, so maybe there's some shapers there at the docks now or something? Um, I don't know. I guess we have to go that way to get there, though. I mean, I guess this could splinter to somewhere, but that looks like a dock, right? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. I guess that's, uh, another thing to do. Unexpected. I, uh, yeah. Alright, well, you said to come talk to if I agreed to help, so I have agreed to help. I haven't helped yet, but... Oh, shit, am I? I'm clicked on aroma. Okay. Nasty nods. I am eager to help the Shaper, as long as the Shaper brings peace. Uh, I have been speaking with Marsha. She wants me to recover a key. I'm glad you are helping. There are two ways the docks to the docks where Enfisa fell. One involves much combat, and one is blocked by many tramps. What way involves combat? Leave these caves to the south and go south from here. There is a large ruin there full of rogues. They are cunning. When alone, they will stay far from you, but when in packs, they will charge. Keep your blade ready. Um, okay, that's south, and then south. So is that... Okay. Uh, what way is tramps? Don't leave these tunnels. Explore them to the east. There are tunnels that lead through the docks, but there are... Traps there, some old, some new. Eventually, the tunnels lead to the docks. What awaits me at the docks? I'm not sure. The shoal I say they saw humans there, which is strange. Those humans make rogues and traps and they hide. I don't know who they are, or if they are even real. So they could be shapers, though, right? Hmm. I have another question. Uh, uh, was there anything else, or...? If you decide to help, come back. I'll probably have to actually help first, then, I guess. Um, 
But yeah, so is that meaning, oh, it, oh, Doc Runes, right. Right. Literally called Doc Runes. So there is a Doc down here. Okay, so this must be, this must splinter off then. Okay, I, I completely, okay. Didn't realize that was called Doc Runes, suddenly. Hmm. So I guess it's not that then. But so there's no quest list on this, so I guess it must splinter off. So maybe this actually does splinter off to both what Yula mentioned and also where Anfisa's body is. Because, I mean, that looks more like a town, like a little town or something, but it's got, like, the dock bits, so... Hmm. Okay. Um, but it also said mentioned... Yeah, because it was this way. Alright, so that makes sense. Um, hmm. Okay, well. I guess that gives us a few things we need to do then, don't we? But I guess for right now, we should just probably continue exploring this. Um, I don't know how strong these ones will be, so... I guess we'll do the combat walk. Oh yeah, no, these are weak. No problem. That's good. Alright, I guess we'll keep exploring these caves, and that'll probably have to do us for this one. But, uh, yeah, we did, um... Right, so... Yeah, I, I guess next time we'll just go to the Dock Runes. I mean, that seems to be what's leading to us. I'm just, I'm a little bit, uh... You know, alright, that makes sense. I guess I'm just, I was just getting confused, because this area looks so blank. Like, there really is in there, but I suppose if that's the Doc Runes, that, that's, uh, that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I guess we, we can't abandon this quest, can we? I guess. Um, although it is interesting, obviously, he said, you were warned that if they are friendly, do not be fooled, this is part of their treachery. Well, that's easy to say, but, I don't know, it's like... I have no reason to believe the takers, do I? Um, in fact, I feel like I have more reason not to because it doesn't seem like anyone has a very good, a very favorable opinion of the takers. Like, it seems like more and more we've met people who find them to be like they've turned extreme and stuff, you know? Um, so in the present time, it's like, I don't actually have a lot of reason to believe the takers. You know, um, are they disabled? No, they're not. So, yeah, I, I don't know. It's, uh, yeah. Oh, I should probably heal first. So I guess we, I mean, unless they do something, I see no reason for us to, to kill them. I'm just, uh, I don't know. We've sort of like... It, it, there's a lot that's built up over time, isn't it? Because, like, we still have, um, Kill El you know? Uh, it's kind of crazy thinking how far back we could have, like, done this. Um, but yes, there is also, like, the spy here. Um, right, yeah, so there's, I don't know, it, it's, uh, because if we're sort of, I don't know, I don't know how to feel about the takers, like, there's definitely issues there, but it's like, I don't know if that's, you know, uh, the, the leaders sort of thing. Like, I mean, they do seem to be getting worse, but I don't know if I necessarily want to go fully against them, you know, in terms of like what would harm the citizens and stuff. But yeah, it, it's sort of leaning more and more towards like, I don't really trust them very much though. I don't know. I, we didn't get that much from the takers, you know? Um, but I do feel like there's more going on there than meets the eye. I don't know. It, it, I feel like a lot of it's been very spread out. Um, like, I don't feel like we've heard much of the Awakened recently at all. Uh, like, there, there just hasn't really been anything involving them lately. Like, you know, it, it's, um, yeah, I, I don't know. It, it's just, uh, something I sort of noticed recently is that it doesn't seem like they've been very involved with anything, but I feel like there's got to be more going on. Like... I don't know, I mean, as of, like I said, I'm just sort of plunging forward and we'll deal with things as they happen and see how that all goes, you know? Oh my god, oh my god. They were way too close, that was dumb of me. Okay. <laughs> Didn't think that through. Uh, but yeah, so, I don't know. Uh, the takers, like, I don't know, I guess if they are being manipulative towards me and stuff, that'll sort of cross the line, I'll probably consider them an enemy or something, but... I'm not sure. Like, cause so with something like this, for example, um, 
Like this. Uh, is this them trying to manipulate me into killing them? Or is it that they genuinely don't know? Like, they actually believe that these are the same, like, Trajkov's people, you know? Of course, they could also just be lying. But I feel like I have more trust in them than I do Kaz. Especially because of just a lot of the stuff you've been hearing about the takers and things. Versus, um, oh shit, we didn't, uh, wait, I didn't try and leave down here, did I? Better do that. Um, I was gonna say versus, um, right, the show, like, like with you, La, for example, you know, she giving that sort of bigger picture of it all and what's going on and then meeting these, it, it's, it feels fitting, you know, I have a lot less reason to actually question it. Oh shit, there we go. So we can go straight there. Oh, huh. well, that's good. Um... I don't know if we'll want to do that. Uh, I mean, because I'm going to want to clear everything, obviously, but I don't know. I guess we'll, we'll check up here first, see if that leads somewhere else as well. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, let me know what you think on the takers, like, if you can, from the perspective of what we've seen so far, like, not not what could be seen. <laughs> oh, okay, so you can go that way as well. All right, so we're opening up a few spots. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like... There's more and more that seems like they're sort of the extreme faction. Um, and I guess that they're working with Trajkov, but then it doesn't exactly... I don't know. It, I, I'm not exactly sure on the dynamic between the Sholai and Trajkov and Takers. Because they seem to be on good terms, but I don't know if it's like... It seems like they both may be faking it to a degree. Like, it seems like the... The takers aren't exactly liking the Sholai, but then, yeah, I don't know, because obviously the, the, the mission to kill these Sholai is coming from the takers, but then could that be like, uh, they're trying to trick me into taking them out. In reality, it's actually like they're doing a favor for Trajkov by killing the ones that are, you know, don't disagree with him or something like. I don't know. I don't know if I'm reading into to, in if I'm reading into some things too much, or if I'm just also forgetting some things. Like, I don't know. I think that's one thing I am I am having a little trouble with playing this over time. Um, is that I, I feel like even though I, I I can remember all the important things, and it's like you know I, I can remember our rough journey throughout all of here, and sort of the. Uh, order of events and you know like all the important stuff that keeps you engaged and with a working brain <laughs> um but it's like it's those little things like the little lines and those little just them little things that you know it's harder to remember the specifics of over time um so there's definitely a chance that i'm forgetting some little bits and pieces that you know um looks like we're all clear here other than there yeah, I think so. All right, well, I guess we'll uh, head back to town for now. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, let me know if you have any thoughts on any of that, if, uh, if any of that made some sort of sense. I don't know. So I'm just taking it as it comes for now, which, which I think is better. Like, I'm just not worrying about it too much. Um, but yeah, it does seem like... I don't know, they're very extreme here in Kaz, like... I don't know. It's, uh... Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. I feel like in some ways it still would be because if we decide they're our enemy, it certainly makes some decisions easier. Uh, but we can always keep heading forward and just uh, play it as it goes sort of thing, but... Yeah, because I don't know if, like, what... There, there's different things to it, like... Um, it's all, like... So... What happens if we turn in the spy, for example, right? Like, I'm curious if that sets anything in motion. Will that make the Takers hate us? So, or, you know, things like that. Um, yeah. I don't know, you know what? Actually, let's, uh, let's jump back to Vakiri. Uh, let's, uh, let's finish up seeing how Clack it's doing. <laughs> I'm always curious if he's going to say anything new, but it's probably the same as before, but we, we can check. Um, I think it's what sort of things do you know? Yes. What do the Servals think of me? Servals think you great. Servals think you true. You want Servals free. Ah, same as before. What sort of crimes have I committed? Servals like you. Worship you almost. Dangerous how much. Servals think you hero. 
Yeah, see, that's, um, it is also interesting, though, like, because I feel like now we've been across more of the island. Like, what does that even mean? Like, who are the serviles? Because, you know, there's certainly a big difference between Vakiri, Pentil, and Kaz when it comes um, to attitude towards us. So, uh, but yeah, I think that's probably gonna have to do it for this one. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I've rambled a lot in this one, but, uh, you know, as always, if you have made it this far, I really do appreciate it. I hope you have enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, just let me know if you've, um, let me know if you have any thoughts on any of my ramblings. Um, let me know if you have any thoughts on our potential new crew here. Let me know what you think of Benny. I think he's pretty great. Um, I don't know, let me know if you have any thoughts on making the Romas pink, uh, into Guardian Romas, or anything else that I've mentioned, rambled on, or otherwise. Suggestions of places to go, and, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, although I do think we're pretty much set for the next couple parts, uh, because this is definitely, it seems like we're being led towards this area, but we also have here first, so. Hopefully we can get this done sooner than later. Mainly, I mean, I want to anyway, but mainly, honestly, just because it will bother me that it's staying red. Um, so hopefully we can get some of that nutrient shit. I, I, I keep thinking nutrient solution, but I know that's not, that, that's not correct. It's, it's close to that, but, uh, but yeah, hopefully we can, uh, do that sooner than later. But I think next time we'll cover both of these. I think that'll be the way to go. Um, depending on what happens here, that could make it a longer one, but I do think we will actually do that. Like we'll go to the dock rooms in there. We'll make sure we do both. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, because this is a, I'm realizing now, this is a little village look to it, so I am wondering if this isn't where we will find the shapers that Yula mentioned. Because um, if there's meant to be humans there or something, it could just be that they're assumed as humans or whatever, and they're trying to keep to themselves, but in fact they are shapers, and it's just Yula got on friendly terms, so she's aware of that or something, like... Um, but yeah, I, I don't know, I guess we'll... Uh, at least for now, we won't be killing the outsider rebels, you know, if we're given a reason, like if there's deception there, but I don't know, at least from what I feel and gut level, it's like, I, I trust them, especially because of Eula, um, a lot more than I trust the takers right now, so, but yeah, I think that's, uh, yeah, I think that's good. All right. <laughs> As always said, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.